All right, check. So we got this beat. And it's 94 BPM. So what we can do is go into Bastard Cuts Volume 4, like this, go into the BPM Cuts. <laughs> and we got a bunch that are 94. So what? What? we can just load up a bunch of these, see which one sounds the best. Maybe they all sound good. So let's just see. Okay, so so since these are uh, already, they're drag and drop ready, so all we have to do is place it down, just like that. Then we hit play, and it's all we have to do now is mix it in. And that already, already sounds pretty good. The volume's already fairly good. Like, maybe turn up a little bit. Since it's 94 and we got other samples, I'm gonna switch it. So that one's only a two-bar loop. Let's see how this one sounds. Yeah, so easy as that. All right, now let's say, let's say that the sequence is not 94 and I wanna use this one. I got the All right, what are we gonna do? So what we can do, let's just say it's 87. So the most like real way, the best way really is to just pitch it because you're not, the other way would be to stretch it. And if you're stretching it, the sound quality is going to get worse. If you're lowering the pitch, it's not going to happen. So let's start by lowering the pitch and see how it sounds. And then we just lower it until we find out where it lines up. So, boom, like that. Or, if we want to make it just normal, normal, no pitched, we would do warp, and BPM uh, is 94, not 0.4, so it's 94, do it. Now that when you have BPM sync on, it's going to automatically sync it to the BPM. So, now it should be synced to 87 BPM. <laughs> And then, if we want to speed up the BPM, we can do that. So, let's drop this and use a different one. Or we can even speed it up faster. So that's how you make it lined up on the newer MPCs. You can make it lined up so that it's lined up for any single BPM that you want it to be lined up to, even if we drop to fucking 60. But then it sounds all stretched and doesn't sound very good when it's stretched that much. So try not to go too far. The less far away you go from the original BPM, the better. So. That's what's up. All right, now let's chop shit up. So <laughs> let's just use this as an example and we're gonna chop it. So I'm gonna just chop in little spots where I can get these one shots. Okay, so now we are going to convert to a new program using non-destructive slices. So do it. Now we gotta go to this. Okay, so now we're going to the program. 
and we are going to do mono. So we want to on mono because these are all, they're not on note hold or note on. So if we actually maybe we'll just put on note on. Okay, so, so now we have these chops to mess around with. So like we can just chop it up like this, and I could even just go like this, and then see what sounds good. Like, fuck it, maybe that works. It does not, but we can try. So now we got these chops and it sounds dope. So we just chopped up this whole thing. So originally it's this. And then we just chopped it up all the way into this. So by chopping it up, we can completely rearrange the entire thing and make it fit our beat. We can just chop it up, mess around with it until it's fitting. So that's how we chop it up. Thumb. Thumb. 